Hello everyone. Well, life has calmed down slightly again, so here we go uh, with news roundup number 205. A poll published in The Guardian reveals that Winnie the Pooh is the UK's favourite childhood book character, just pipping Harry Potter. 1,200 people who read at least once a week were quizzed. George, Enid Blyton's tomboy adventurer from The Famous Five, was third, with The Hobbit's Bilbo Baggins and Roald Dahl's Matilda in fourth and fifth places. The survey was commissioned by the Reading Agency, which has launched a summer reading challenge for children in libraries across the country. We know the power of picking up a book you love and discovering a favourite character. The Summer Reading Challenge gives children the chance to be transported and inspired by the adventures of their favourite characters and read books that can go on to play a fundamental role in their lives, said Chief Executive Sue Wilkinson. The Daily Mirror has put the focus on 57-year-old Chris King from Rossington in South Yorkshire, who has become the country's first double-hand transplant patient. He lost both hands above the thumb joint in a metal pressing machine accident at work three years ago. Chris said they look absolutely tremendous. What I want to know is how do they feel? Durham Cathedral will be a big attraction for history buffs, reports The Guardian. A 14th century monk's dormitory with original oak beamed ceiling is the centrepiece of a new £10.9 million permanent exhibition charting Christian history and culture in the northeast of England. Artifacts dating from the 3rd century onwards, including burial stones, preaching crosses, and medieval manuscripts, some of which have never been, not been displayed, are on show. Sorry, some of which have never before been displayed are on show. See, we all get it wrong sometimes. <laughs> Andrew Tremlett, Dean of Durham Cathedral, said, It has been an incredibly complex project, and I am in awe and wonder of the splendours of this space. This is a seminal moment in the life of the cathedral. The dormitory, once housing dozens of sparse, narrow cubicles in which Benedictine monks slept and studied, became a library in the 19th century. The Kent town of Margate has been named as the top hotspot for property price increases among Britain's seaside towns, reports The Independent. The average house price is £202,276, a 12.5% increase since July 2015, according to property website Zoopla. A Zoopla spokesman explained that the increase follows large amounts of regeneration funding that the town has received in the past decade, with attractions such as the Turner Contemporary Gallery and the Dreamland theme park. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder where that money came from. And what did Margate vote in the EU referendum? Have a look. The Sun tells us that a zoo has appealed for £5,000 to buy more cameras to help track an escaped lynx. Two-year-old Flavio has so far evaded humane traps and avoided being recorded on any footage captured by motion sensor cameras placed in areas where physical clues have been left, such as paw prints and fur left on gates and fences. Headkeeper George Hyde said, Flavio's ability to avoid the cameras suggests he has still yet to decide on his boundaries, which means he's got a lot more mobile and his territory is larger than we thought. The zoo wants more cameras to monitor trails and locations and have asked for donations. The things children come up with. The BBC says that among the hundred things primary age kids feel they should do before they turn 11 included falling asleep in a lesson or telling your teacher to chill out. The information comes via a survey carried out by the Times Educational Supplement amongst 2,500 youngsters. 
Other items in the wish list include spinning the teacher's chair or being caught impersonating Miss. I can think of worse things they might want to do, can't you? Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.